Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at uh, the various uh, rules that you can set up to transfer the leads out. So let's say for argument's sake, you want to transfer your leads to a third party platform using uh, the uh, webhook, using a webhook. So just enter that over here. Go ahead and enter your webhook. I'm just going to put it as a test webhook. And go ahead and save that. Oops, I think it wants a, so there you go, that'll do. Right, so what's going to happen here is uh, that's my thank you page, the results page. So after they enter their name and email, I can fire a webhook to a third party um, uh, URL with the payload, and then I finally go and see the results page at the, at the end. That's a very simple way, so everybody's going to go to the same place. Now, in this uh, particular example, and just a once, a, once again, just a dummy example where I'm just saying order and we have 0 to 20 to 50 and 50 plus let's just assume that these are we're ordering i don't know uh, some widgets and now i want to send people to different directions in different directions now this could be a zip code a combination of zip code combination of any any kind of data that you're grabbing uh, from your decision tree and you need to funnel them or send them off in different directions the different directions could be based on lead quality so could be so low quality leads go to a different place to a high quality lead this could also be based on um, sending leads to specific clients. So you've got client A who only wants uh, people who are borrowing more than 50,000, while client B is grabbing details for who are people who are looking to borrow less than 50,000. Could also be a combination, uh, which is uh, clients who are looking to borrow 50,000 and they live in a specific zip code or postcode or state or county, and you can even do that sort of distribution. Right. So that's what I'm going to share with you now is uh, your ability to, to do that. So how do you do that? Um, by using the decision node, which I'm just going to add over here. And I'm going to go, you know, split uh, oops, my leads or distribute my leads is probably a better word. All right, so let's go to distribute uh, my leads. Now you create a path. A path is just a a set of conditions uh, that, if met, uh, that it follows uh, the path. So in this case, let's say if I want to go order less than twenty, plus uh, the state uh, is let's say um, California. Oops. Right. So I'm looking to do two things here. So I can based on the the order that they give is um, is uh, less than 20 uh, and my custom field would be state uh, which I would add over here to create uh, the condition of order less than 20 and people who are coming from California now I haven't asked the California question but that's what you would put over here so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that so I can show you uh, the custom field capability of leads with as well so let me discard that I'm gonna change this question rather than asking for name I'm just going to uh, create a, um, a uh, drop down, actually. Let's do that. Let's do a drop down. Um, get rid of uh, whatever content I've got sitting over here. And add a custom field. Don't have any drop down custom fields. I'm going to go add. And here's my drop down. And we'll call this states. Oops, low caps states underscore USA and this would be US states now you can copy and paste all of them over here if you wanted to uh, in my case I'm just going to put uh, um, California hope I got that right California yep and uh, California hope I can spell that right add and I'm just gonna put uh, Texas and Texas All right there you go just two states and placeholder will be please select um, your state save go ahead and add that and there you go so so the the drop-down node gets its values from the custom field right that's the so you, so that way if you create um, 
one drop down with all your states or counties or whatever it be uh, you can continue to use that same custom field over and over again in numerous decision trees that's the reason why we have it in this manner so there's no need to enter the details over here um, title will be uh, please um, select your state right save and exit and now let's go ahead and view that and I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to call this lead distribution I didn't save it earlier so uh, lead distribution oops add that so I'm going to go order less than 20 plus state uh, equals California All right question order is less than 20 add now there's two options here you can either go custom field route in which case you're going to go state um, is and then uh, and enter the value in um, from the from the drop down so or you can just go custom field and um, state uh, states USA uh, is and I can just go California and uh, and that's it so that's that's going to be uh, people who uh, want less than 20 uh, pieces of this widget uh, who are from California All right so that's going to be my my first path that's to distribute that person out uh, and I can just go ahead and clone that and let's say now if I want to distribute this person to Texas and go here and go state is TX I think that's what it is so there you go state equals Texas now you can go ahead and add as many of those as you want um, and keep uh, adding uh, as much as you need and what it does it'll give you an exit connector like this so I'm gonna go over here uh, then what I'll do is let's say if this is a webhook for uh, this is a webhook for for client X and client X buys uh, buys um, leads uh, of people who um, there you go client X uh, buys leads of people who order less than 20 and California it's just an example so obviously it could be any number of conditions that you have I'm gonna go and drag and drop that over here so client X webhook fires and then they see the final page I can just clone this and this one I'm gonna go and send this webhook to client Y obviously you're gonna go change the request uh, the request URL the payload can generally remain the same uh, or depending on what the it could be a different system in which case both will change if it's the same system then just the URL might change uh, or some one of the indicators over here might change for the payload All right so save and exit that's going to be client Y it's this person here and they go here and everybody else uh, is going to go to client Z or to your own list uh, so this could be uh, just a you could just add uh, you know let's say if you're putting everybody into get response and you can just go straight to get response so I'm going to do that as a just a way to kind of you know, share a different example here uh, and uh, that's where it's gonna be I don't have any connection set up but that's where it will be I'm gonna get rid of this and so everybody else so people who don't go to client X or client Y will go into get response and then they'll see the final page right so that there, there you go the, these are the rules you're setting up on how you're gonna distribute your lead your leads uh, you are limited by your imagination as to how you want to distribute your leads uh, the decision node is not designed only for leads you can do any bunch of combinations you can ask uh, so rather than uh, web hooking you could uh, say well uh, anyone who wants to order less than 20 in California I'd like to ask them an extra question so you can um, uh, go ahead and add an extra question here so just like that that's my extra question I'm just going to cancel this one out for the purpose of the example and go and do this so there you go all right so, so just to show you that that you're actually limited by imagination as to how complex or simple you want to make it and uh, uh, and you can actually distribute leads directly out of leads into numerous uh, third-party platforms 
uh, without a need of a third-party lead distribution system. All right, so that covers the rules that you can set up, which are which I've created over here. Now I'll go ahead and uh, show you three other methods of uh, of doing it, which are basically um, going to be uh, the random approach. So you randomly assign leads to specific clients. Uh, the sequential, which is uh, uh, they get a lead here, lead here, lead here, and then it just keeps rolling on a, on a, it keeps going around and around and around. So that person gets it, that person gets it, that person gets it, and then back to the first person. So you can keep rotating uh, uh, leads in a sequential manner. Uh, and then lastly, uh, obviously the one based on responses, which is actually this one here, but I'll show a much more complex example when we get to that final one. All right, so go ahead and watch the other three videos, which are going to be listed on somewhere in this page.